G'day folks. Today we're going to be talking about the fourth ball drop volley. One of the things I see time and time again in lessons and clinics are players that really want to just bang the ball around. The notorious banger has a bad reputation in this game as they seem to really dictate the style of play and no one really gets into a dink rally. However, that kind of player can be very successful, certainly in the 3-0, 3-5, 4-0 and possibly even 4-5 areas. So, having a, a good shot, a strategy to help swing the type of game you're playing towards a more dink orientated game is very important. So let's talk about the drop volley. When setting up for this shot, we're going to need a nice low athletic stance so you can move easily to the ball. Set yourself up in a backhand position around about 10 o'clock. If there's 12, there's 11, 10 o'clock. And don't be afraid to have the paddle quite close to the body. One of the common mistakes I see when players are hitting this shot is trying to meet the ball out in front of the body. That can be a real issue because when the ball finally arrives, there's a good chance your paddle is going to be on the way to that meeting point, which can easily overpower the shot. As opposed to that, allow the ball to come into your body. Understand you'll have real control close to your body and your wrist will be in the strongest position it can be. You'll play a lot of these shots on the backhand side, but don't be afraid to pivot out of the way to play on the forehand as well. If it does come into your backhand, you'll need to have quite a firm grip position, a seven or an eight out of 10. On the forehand side, you can be a little more relaxed. The grip is in a slightly stronger position naturally. An easy objective to help you let the ball come into your body is standing around a foot or so behind the kitchen line and having a visual of allowing the ball to get past the kitchen before you contact it. By doing that, you'll have an easier time absorbing the place of the shot. Remember, the ball is coming at a good speed. You certainly don't need to be adding to the power of the shot. Quite the contrary, you need to be taking away from the power of the shot. You're gonna to want to try and play this shot if you see this banger is behind the baseline and or on their back foot playing with real power. That's an easy time that you can catch them out by playing the drop volley fourth ball. An easy drill to practice this is the good old fashioned target practice of a cone or a bucket. Have a player on the baseline hitting hard and fast at you while you attempt to block the ball, dropping it gently inside the kitchen. If you don't have a target handy, think about trying to get your shot to bounce at least twice inside the kitchen. That'll tell you if you've done a good job with the fourth ball drop shot.